This is an eight-year-old girl with a congenital sutural cataract, posted for cataract extraction and IOL. Here I am putting in my 2.8 millimeter incision, two side ports, and after staining the capsule, I express the air in tripan blue with uh, a mixture of uh, sodium hyaluronate and chondroitin. And then under this, I am fashioning my rexus. I initiate the rexus at least with my 26 gauge needle. It's very important not to get too big a rexus. You may either run away or the uh, rexus will not overlap the IOL. Both not good. So once I have initiated the rexus, I take the uterator forceps as this has more control on this elastic capsule. So just uh, re-grasping and making sure that the rexus doesn't run away and that's a good rexus. So once I've done that, I then just watch what happens when I hydro dissect. It doesn't go posterior, in fact it goes along the suture line. Did you see that? How nicely it separated that into three segments. This is the first time I actually noticed this and I tried to do a little more hydro dissection. I am not getting the um, capsulocortical plane, so I abandon that, just loosen up these segments and you can see superiorly it is still not separated. Just put in some fluid there, make sure you do not have a bloat of the posterior capsule which is frankly speaking not possible and uh, I just go in with aspiration parameters I am removing this nucleus, epinucleus, some of the cortex making sure I uh, maintain all safety. For this superior part I think it is more uh, safe to do it with the bimanu and that is what I have done. So I removed all the uh, cortex, I then put in my uh, sodium hyaluronate once again, pressurize the chamber, push back the posterior capsule, going to a higher magnification and now I am going to puncture the capsule with my posterior capsule that is with my 26 gauge needle and inject some. Uh, ordinary 2% HPMC within the Berger space to separate the posterior capsule from the anterior hyoid face. The central reflex is uh, giving me little problems in visualization, so I am taking my time over it. I do get it and I am slowly injecting. You can see it being injected, you will see it in a while. There, that is the separation and you can see that beautifully separated and that central hole. So for better visualization I have put off the Omni Glow and even then you can see how difficult it is for me to visualize that small area. So I am, I do not want to go and break the anterior hyaloid with this uh, capsular forceps or catch any vitreous strand with this. So I am going very slowly got the capsule, make a flap, you can see the flap tearing, now I can see the flap well, grasp it again, I am trying to make a large enough rexus, posterior capsular rexus to capture the optic. But unfortunately, because of the poor visualization, 
although a good enough post a capsular axis it's not large enough for a capture and i did not want to extend this and try all sorts of stunts rather than that i just inject my i don't want to do a vitrectomy on this child i don't think she needs a vitrectomy putting her at a risk of a retinal detachment i think uh, any opacity that may develop i can handle with the yag she's old enough to cooperate for a yag procedure so just very carefully injecting this hydrophobic iol into the uh, bag make sure you don't go into the posterior axis and then with the help of uh, two sinski hooks i slowly tuck in the superior haptic or the trailing haptic as well into the bag and that's very well done there is no vitreous disturbance at all and i aim to keep it that way Uh, the only problem would be when i go in i have to be very careful when i aspirate the viscoelastic because i have to take out the viscoelastic from behind but i am not going to be too aggressive about it as you know i have only put in um, 2% hpmc behind the rexus posterior rexus so very carefully watching i am doing this under high magnification I have brought down the bottle height I am now at uh, I think less than 80 cm a little less and very slowly aspirating the uh, viscoelastic I do tap the lens and try to get out as much of viscoelastic from behind and this you have to be extremely patient and you have to take out everything and i just go a wee bit behind the lens i am not going to go into that area but just go behind and hope that all the viscoelastic comes out there will be some left i'm sure but however i think this is good enough once all is done i'm just pressurizing the chamber hydrating the wounds i have put in some pilocarpin i don't want this uh, optic to be captured by the pupil the next day and i've already put in my intracameral antibiotic and with this I conclude my search thank you so much for watching